My name is Amal Fahmi. I'm um, I'm an anthropologist by training, and I'm one of the co-founder of Harass Map. Harass Map is an independent initiative. One of uh, the first independent initiative in Egypt to work in sexual harassment. We we launched um, the initiative in uh, 2010, and we started by launching online online a map. Um, it's using um, a Yushahidi, which is one of the open source for crowd uh, source for crowd sourcing, and we collect data on sexual harassment. So basically, the map would allow people to to uh, provide information on incidents of sexual harassment they, they either witnessed or experienced type of sexual harassment and with uh, using the Google map we would know where it happened so it's kind of map different incidents um, that is happening across Egypt with regard to sexual harassment. Map provided a, a great space for women who doesn't want um, to be known or don't want anonymously reporting uh, incidents of sexual harassment. It also provide a haven or a space again uh, for women to vent their frustration. If you see a lot of the report, which you actually everybody can see by clicking uh, uh, the, um, on the dots, the different dots that comes and shows the reports, you can see a lot of anger um, and stories of, of really frustration that women are saying that's uh, of the ex ex explaining and presenting their experiences of uh, sexual harassment in the Egyptian streets. So also that shows that it is it is socially accepted. And when we ask them why you don't interfere, um, more than 34 percent said because it is none of our business, because it's normal, because. It's something that happens every day. Some of them said because we're afraid to get physically attacked by the perpetrator. And mostly men said, a woman said that. They are afraid if they help the other woman, that they themselves get been attacked by the perpetrator. Most of the study shows that most of sexual harassment incidents happen during the day, and midday in particular, um, not at night, uh, So, which is uh, unlike what everybody believes that it happened at dark places and at night. Actually, no, it happened in very crowded spaces and at midday. It happened to all different women with different attires or different dress codes. So the woman that's completely covered, the woman who's modernly dressed, the girls as, as coming out from at school, uh, so, so it's really all this myth around sexual harassment is uh, faulty and does not represent really why it's happening um, in, in, in the country. Harassment started in Egypt and um, as I said it was launched in 2010 uh, but uh, it also, um, we received a lot of requests from other countries that have similar, like where sexual harassment is prevalent and then we actually try to assist them by providing uh, our experience and lesson learned to them so they can launch their own uh, maps in their own countries. Yeah.